Hey YouTube, Maddie's Daddy 12 here with another legit talk. Uh, yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, I'm here with Jacob Ricker. He's gonna fill in for Corey because Corey has a hurt back Wait and is unable. <laughs> he's dead. Uh, he's unable to be with us, and I can I can uh, I can understand where he's coming from. Like it. it you hurt your back before? No, I've made up excuses to get out of work. Oh, Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's like shattered. It. You'll be fine. You'll be all right. Just don't hit my table. Um, okay, so today uh, I want to take a chance to uh, advertise a couple things. We've got our Twitch channel up and going. We uh, we live stream our locals every Sunday. So if you head over to Twitch at www.twitch.tv backslash legit YGO those are our locals uh, every Sunday uh, and you'll see us there we'll have four to five rounds and then our top eight cut so uh, you guys will be able to check that out every week uh, also um, quit hitting forget? the table I gotta um, stop hitting the table or he's gonna flip out on me I'm freaking out. I forgot. <laughs> You're freaking out. About, about that. About no, about that. About that. <laughs> it's kind of hot. Um, <laughs> it's a good thing some of this stuff happens off the camera. Right. Uh, no, we also have our uh, hashtag Nate's Wrong. If you go to Legit MTG store uh, or the Legit YGO store, uh, you can order something direct there, put in the uh, coupon code hashtag Nate's Wrong, and get an additional 5%, and then everything of... Two dollars. Uh, everything of two dollars and over is free shipping. Two dollars or more is free shipping. So, of singles. So, today we are going to talk about being competitive. Now, before we do this, Jacob, what's your background? Like, uh, I'm a Magic player. I've played PTQ states mostly. Uh, well, just play local tournaments now since I have a family now. So. Okay, so you've played on a on a competitive level. I have. But now you just play kind of locally and stuff. More so locally, yeah. So the question before me now is, what does it take to be competitive at a game? Because I have a lot of guys, especially here at the locals, that oh, I'm a competitive player. I've been competitive since 2010, 2012. I've been playing competitively. That's when they graduated but middle you, school. <laughs> yeah, that was the year they graduated middle school. Yu-Gi-Oh players. <laughs> But no, like they they say they play competitive, but they don't they don't make it to the regionals consistently. They don't really travel, and in my eyes, I really can't consider them competitive. I, I agree with you. I feel like if you're just playing like your local tournaments, like your small, like I guess Sunday tournaments or whatever. You're more just a casual player, like a community player, maybe. Uh, if you're traveling more, going to bigger tournament like ARGs or PTQs or whatever it is for Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. uh, I feel like that's more competitive. So. Can you play a competitive deck, one of the meta decks, at a local tournament, like a, a Friday Night Magic, and still consider yourself a competitive player? Like, I mean, does it, does it, does the deck choice matter? Um, I mean, you can play it. That's probably no problem at all. Some people might get upset about it because you're you're playing a top tier deck and you're just trolling the people at your local tournament. I mean, but a lot of times it doesn't matter. It's just fun. So you don't you don't think the the type of deck you choose as far as tier one compared to something that a, a casual player you know some kind of oddball Ojama deck they bring in compared to Shadal's right now you know so you don't you don't think that really I feel like if you want to try to play if you want to play to win. You're gonna want to bring like the tier one decks. If you want to play to have fun more, it's okay to drift down into like tier 1.5 or tier two. But if you're wanting to, be, how do you feel about the locals where you have players that do travel from time to time, going to the regionals and the ARGs or the uh, Star City Games events and, and Magic and stuff that want to use their locals as a playtesting uh, situation? to get better for these events that they travel to, but you're playing against all these rogue decks that you would see. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to regionals? Like, there's quite a bit of rogue decks. Yeah, at, at a regional, there is quite a bit of, a, of rogue, but once you get past the first <coughs> two rounds, three rounds, you're not going to see rogue stuff. Mm -hmm. But how, how do you how do you compensate for that as far as your playtesting? I mean, you're not going to playtest against... Like, Man. really playtest your deck if you're not playing against, like, the better decks. You're, like, okay. it might be good. You can learn to play your deck a lot better if you're playing. It's, like, the casual, more fun decks. But 
just to really test your deck, you want to uh, like set up a gauntlet or something and play against the real decks. So what you're saying is you would not use a local as a chance to play test for an event, but you would use it as a chance to give you to, just to just kind to of learn the deck, get more better. familiar with your deck, right, recognize like, your combos more, figure out your combos, figure out like how the cards interact together and how well they play together. So a four zero finish in a Friday Night Magic is nothing to it to take into account whenever you're preparing for a... Not normally. I mean, of course you can get your metagames where the, everyone is super competitive and they're just playing to play anyway. Yeah. But yeah, it's not really that impressive with the 4-0 from an FNM. Now, uh, one of the guys uh, here at the shop mentioned a, uh, a Magic Pro that actually stepped up from the, from the Friday Night Magic uh, arena, I guess, and moved into the Pro Tour. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, by no means are we saying that this isn't something that you can't grow on. It could definitely happen. You can definitely jump from an FNM and then go win a PTQ or, and then just further yourself as a Magic player or a Yu-Gi-Oh player for, like, for a reason. So. Right. Anything else you want to add in on um, that? I don't think so. I think I'm, you think you're good? I'm pretty covered, yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, before we go, i got to ask, what do you think about the beard? Like, my wife... Like I, basically, what it was, I, I didn't shave. It, I didn't shave for Chris like. Chris Hansen loves it. <laughs> Chris Hansen it's nice. loves it. It's, well, I, I didn't shave for like four days or something, and then my wife was like, "Oh, you're growing days. a beard," and I was like, "No, I'm just lazy." <laughs> and then she was like, "Oh, no, you should keep it." So I mean, like, I don't know. Well, I don't, you're rocking it. You're it doesn't, pulling it, it off. It doesn't grow together very well. Wow. It grows on all white trashy like that. It does. Like it doesn't. Like yeah. yeah I'm special here, Joe Dirt. <laughs> some people right. got it, and some don't. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you head over to Legit MTG. Check out all of our Magic: The Gathering articles. Also, make sure you head over to Legit YGO. Check out our Yu-Gi-Oh articles. And when you do, make sure you hit on the store icon. Head over to the store. Use the coupon code hashtag Nate's Wrong and get five percent off your order. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. Subscribe, comment down below, show us how much you love us.